Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry knew that he'd been walking, that he would be walking into a huge budget mess when he campaigned for the job. So he pledged to cut anywhere he could, starting with top salaries at City Hall. We sent Michael Hertzenberg on special assignment to see if he has. We're trying to set the example for other departments by running as lean of a government as we can and really trying to provide a great value to the taxpayer. Mayor Richard Berry promised to cut the fat in city government and run a leaner city hall. To the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations, Mayor. More than five months have passed since he took office. Has he made the hallways emptier? Has he trimmed big salaries? We focus on his high-level hires, the top floors of City Hall. I've had 28 years of experience inside and out of City Hall here in Albuquerque. The mayor's number two, Chief Administrative Officer David Campbell, makes more than any other city worker, $159,000 a year. His predecessor, Ed Adams, made $148,000 a year. David Campbell's making $11,000 more than his predecessor, Ed Adams. Why? I ended up with an individual who I thought was well worth the salary that we're paying for the job that he's doing, which is really a CAO, CFO, NCOO position all combined. That's because Mayor Martin Chavez's chief financial officer and chief operating officer left their jobs and have not been replaced. If you look at the net savings of those three positions to the taxpayers, it's in the several hundred thousand dollar range. But the mayor's second highest paying hire, city attorney Robert Perry, earns $138,000 annually. He makes 20 grand a year more than the man he replaced, Bob White. Even in 2005 dollars, uh, Rob's you know, at or below the, the average salary for city attorneys. Uh, but, the, but the basic fact is I wanted to hire the right man for the right job. And the city says it will make money in the long run by winning more cases. That remains to be seen. But what you can see now by looking at the bulk of the big berry hires, he did what he said he would do. Chief Public Safety Officer Darren White, $125,000, $5,000 less than Pete Dinelli. Their spokesman, T.J. Wilhelm, $13,000 less than John Walsh. From crime to culture, Betty Rivetta makes $97,000 a year directing everything from the biopark to Tingley Beach to the Balloon Museum. But the director's salary deflated by twenty-five grand. Ray Darnell made $122,000 a year. There are other salary reductions and empty offices. Barry eliminated more than a dozen positions. Like the executive deputy police chief job, Joe Bowditch was making 113 grand. The mayor laid him off and didn't fill the position. The mayor has cut some fat from City Hall, a total savings on higher up positions of $373 an hour. That equals $776,000 a year. Well, what about the mayor? What does he make? It would be $110,000 a year, the same as Mayor Martin Chavez made. The mayor's salary is set by the voters.